what's up guys? This is the Brokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. And to pick up where we left off, we have an, a force under G Girolamo Ferrari who has pushed up to uh, this river, river on, the, on the Indian border and it's going to be our first action to push them off so that we can secure this bridge leading on the highway towards Lahore. So let's crack on and attack these troops. I mean they're mostly cavalry with a couple of good artillery units it would be good to wipe out. But let's attack. So we are on the offensive, so we will be storming over both ford and bridge crossings. Um, we're going to get mobbed by cavalry, but that's okay. We're going to have our position, our artillery positioned on our bank, ready to fire um, over the heads of the, our men and, and, and over the river to try and knock out some of their artillery batteries. Huh, that's interesting. It's deployed us... Our deployment zone is really quite far back. The Mughals, the Mughals zone extends onto this side of the river. That's an interesting development. So, feel I'll tell you up front. They're going to stay unlimbered for now. How it says the stay the same. I want to split my force into roughly two equivalent sized formations to push both rivers at once. The riflemen stay separate for now, although they will likely... Well, what have we got? So we've got a, I think it's... Is it two... Bri no, it's a bridge and a ford. Okay. Let's get the... Yeah, the riflemen can go on to, over to the bridge, because they're currently... They ha there's currently fewer units there. Let's divvy up our cavalry. Or there may be the bulk of our cavalry will have better luck exploiting the ford rather than the bridge. Oh, wow. Cavalry just storm in. The howitzers are dropping round shot. Which is which is fine. Let's run. Once one uh, formation of troops over here. Um, I've massed my I've tried to ma uh, charge the bulk of my infantry in to take out their howitzers, so I might send one heavy cavalry unit here to deal with them, and I might group my other cavalry over, ready to deal with any cavalry that comes from the enemy forces. So howitzers switch to quick climb. Quick climb this position just below the bridge to my field artillery, so they can just unlimber and open up. Okay, let's get my Heavy cavalry to hit the horsemen. Let's get my general up here as well. Try and knock out their artillery. I mean, we kind of want the great guns to be knocked out as well. There we go. So our heavy cavalry's in the mix. They've fired into the combat here, and that's just done nothing but upset a lot of their their own troops. Can get my general to knock out that last 24-pounder crewman. You're attacking the horsemen. You're going to attack. Okay, right. You guys advance up to this side of the river here. You guys advance up like so. To try and keep your firing arcs away I mean, a lot of enemy cavalry has been knocked out here yeah these guys can you guys can just try try cross the the uh, the bridge um, I doubt they're gonna have too many issues there field artillery focus on the general's bodyguard the cavalry have got the the measure of these troops and then if those Kizobashi musketeers try to cross the river we will annihilate them and we've got my howitzer still attack grounding on the crossing itself so should they attempt to cross we've got plenty of artillery support Oh yeah, my artillery, sorry, you are focusing on General's bodyguard, but that doesn't matter, because they've been cleared out. You men attack the levee. 
these men that are currently walking can run. Yeah, my general, get my general to knock out the 12 pounder. The enemy cavalry have been knocked out. Let's make sure my. Okay, not sure why my general's controls aren't responding there. You all attack the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. I'm not quite sure where that those artillery shells are coming in from. Attack the musketeers. You men charge on. Let's get the engineers involved in the in the, in the uh, combat here as well. Unless we can successfully make them rout, which we have. So let's pull our cavalry back because they are quite weakened. So then we can now position our troops to cover the to cover the uh, the crossing. Quicklem's still coming in. The artillery is still doing good. When we are. Troops over here are... There we go. They've crossed the river, so if the enemy elects to not cross, we have a... a mechanism to continue our attacks. Kizilbashi are within musket range of a couple of our units, but they will become increasingly at risk if they try cross. Make sure, you go, make sure everyone is fire at will on. Or how it says... Oh, they're going to be ready to fire soon. All my artillery back here is firing. Let's, let's make them shrapnel shot. The crossing. A couple of shots are going to fly off. Yeah, killed a few men to the rear. I mean, it's quick line that'll be the real killer there. I know the, this unit here has my rifleman in the battle line, and that's okay. That's not the end of the world. Yeah, see, getting them to actually cross would have been lovely, because then they would have got hit. They would have been hit by the full power of that uh, quickline volley. Um, but still, troops with muskets are still very, very capable opponents. And they are being pushed on. Okay, the artillery. Hit the musketeers. Round shot. Hit the musketeers. And let's just speed up time. Because right now we've not got much incentive to do much else except sit here. And we aren't going to do a huge amount of damage. Because the enemy is so few in number. Attack the general's bodyguard with my howitzers. My field artillery are going to have a great time against those musketeers. My howitzers will knock out the general in due course. Yeah, there he goes. So then attack the musketeers here. Yeah, they don't... They, they seem to be a bit stuck. They want to fight against my troops here, but they know that they can't defeat my... They can't defeat my line, but they also want to cross at the same time. So a few volleys will see them running. There they go. Plenty of damage. So... It wasn't ever going to be a, a gigantic action here, but it was about securing the bridge for our follow-up invasion. There we go. So this man, this army can dig in. You are positioned. Well, you're going to go hit that guy. That's the guy you want. So you... So my agent... Infiltrate... Get, join, join up with my army. Then run through. There we go. So you men replenish, holding the bridge. We do have a couple of armies here on our side of the terrain. And our armies are marching forward, but they've got... They've, they've all run out of order. Um, they've all run out of movement. So there's not a lot we can do there. Angelo Di Benedito can't hit... I mean, Kachawa. Can you? You can. But you're going to actually sit here. You could hit them, but the risk is if I hit them, they might run that way. I really don't want them to do that. So this line, I want them, I want Angelo to hit them and then drive them definitely eastward. You're going to carry on your movement. This army here is waiting for reinforcement from Bandar Abbas. Everyone else has movement orders, so that's pretty good. Obviously, you've landed in southern India, so that's going to cause some spirited debate amongst the uh, the Indian factions there. 
You guys might push up to the river. We'll push up to this grassland. It might be a less advantageous position, but we're getting to a point where um, uh, Kutak can actually protect itself now. So they might hate us for it. Oh, they do hate us a lot. Okay. You're going to stay inside. Let's push some company infantry up to the forward lines. And let's... To be honest, there's no one, no infantry units that are particularly damaged there. So you men just hold ground for now. You're ready for those guys. You guys might even join the army at Calcutta. Because the sooner this army is recruited, the sooner they can go out and enter the field. And I might I might have screwed up my own recruitment plan a bit, but that's okay. So there's not a lot we can do in India, because everything that can be done is being done. Whereas in the Americas, obviously we've got a couple of armies here that are rebuilding and regrouping for another attack against the uh, Mughals from the south. Cuba is maxed out recruitment. So you are nearly... You've got 12 units. You've got another two units of infantry coming in. Uh, but what you are short of is... You're not going to get any heavy cavalry. And there's nowhere... Really to get that apart from up here at Quebec. So I think you're going to have to stick with your light cavalry. So you've got 14 units on the field. 14 units becomes 18 units with your infantry. You've got a reasonable amount of artillery. But I might get another... How it's uh, and then another colonial light cavalry unit, and that should be enough for you. And Giovanni here, you are almost exclusively going to need well one more cavalry unit and another probably infantry unit. It's going to take time, but we've got time. We've also got forces building up in the Americas. We've also got Carlo Testore here. Who has been hammered? He's going to put just put Nassau under siege for now. It's not critical we take it. My main, well, the main thing I want to do is I want to take Guglielmo Zakaria and hit Fort Frontac. Let's push this Mughal troop, this, this Mughal force, out of our pleasure gardens and drive them west. Then we're also going to hit another Mughal army in the same region, but to the northwest, to try and um, knock them together and then squeeze the uh, the front line somewhat. I think that would be a, a good decision to make. Because the hope is if I push in the northeast, that'll force them to commit more troops. And then while they do that, that should hopefully make the south a bit softer. I'm going to trundle my artillery up to this edge of this hill to fire down into the Mughal territory. But let's create... Okay, my Swiss line is going to be down in the flat land here. And they're going to advance. Cavalry... Plus, this general is going to get involved. The general up here is going to get involved. And then my regular infantry are going to advance up with the guns to provide some support. Hessian Jaegers are going to bridge the gap between the formations. My howitzers are going to open fire from down here to provide some level of covering fire. And we're going to get cracking. Looks like they're all over to the left in the town, which isn't a bad thing. So let's get my infantry up here to make sure we don't lose the position. A lot of cavalry coming in on the right hand side. We've got Curacia coming in on the left. So my howitzers, they're a bit out of it. They've got a couple of units they can shoot at. Well, actually, you've got a lot of units. But the main thing is, is to move up with my infantry line quickly. Okay, my howitzers are going to drop out a quick line and round shot the general's bodyguard. We might, we could well be too aggressive with my infantry, which if that's the case, then let's take... Well, I don't know. They're being slow. Well, this quick, this artillery unit is actually going to focus on the enemy coming in and advancing up the hill. Everywhere else, we're okay. My cuirassiers are going to get involved on the right flank pretty quick. 
Yeah, we've advanced up pretty aggressively here. Our, our um, Swiss Mountain Jaegers... A, sound problems, and B, they go pew 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 anyway. Curassier charge the bowmen, general go around the flank. Quick climb coming in. We're going to have plenty of round shot as well. New men pivot. I mean, in theory, the smart move is to just take my artillery and go, nope. Just go nope. So my cavalry, like I said, they've, they've charged in on the right flank. Doing a real number on the enemy bowmen. Let's get my cavalry down and around behind their position. Let's keep the this infantry advancing down the hill. So my cavalry, they're going to be a bit isolated. Pivot. These chaps. Because yeah, my quick, my curiosity area, there is a limit to what they can do. So let's make them, make them and my general double team this bowman unit. All these levy at the front that are engaging my Swiss line. They're not. It's bad times for them. Let's switch my howitzers to round shot. And get them to just drop round shot in against the current ongoing battle. Get my heavy cavalry to charge into the enemy line here. Well, not the enemy line, the enemy bowmen, because they are, they're pretty vulnerable. Whoa, what happened to you guys? You must have got hit by quick climb at some point. Charge these men down the hill. You charge the levy. You charge the levy. You men get around here. Get men in, get men in to attack the levy. General's bodyguard, you you need to fall back. You men charge the levy here. You guys charge the levy out on the extreme flank. You guys charge the levy in the middle. My artillery up on the hill that currently doesn't have a role. They're going to limber up, ready to try and assassinate the general. That's got to be a quick climb hit that killed all my men there. Got to be. Throw my light infantry up to, sh to shoot into this combat. Keep the general's bodyguard out of the way. Yeah, there we go. The bowmen. Bowmen are going down. Very brutal and basic tactics here. I'm afraid this is not going to be my finest hour. Get my infantry up. Is the general going to get involved in the combat? I think he's going to wander into it. But whether or not he's going to actually be involved, I don't know. You men charge the bowmen over here. You guys get over here. Get my general to charge into the rear. Yeah, I think they're all falling back. Obviously my cavalry were not going to last in that sort of style of engagement. Guns are limber, but fire it will off. Cease fire. So my Curiosiero attacking General's bodyguard. That will be an interesting showdown. Oh no, my sorry, my Curiosiero attacking their General's bodyguard. So let's just keep speed up time a bit because right now, yeah, all the people that are currently alive and fighting are are routing on the enemies from the enemy's perspective. This was a real messy battle, and we did kill their General in the end. Did someone come back? You. It's always a levy. Charge into them. Oh, my general died. Oh, because you guys came... Oh, for God's sake. But they do like coming back. 
Oh well, wasn't really attached to this general anyway. Plenty more where that came from. God, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I thought I was short. He was safe. Oh well. Really bloody battle there, but it's not so, it's not so important for this army because we have a Michel Lizato. Hey, I remember Lizato. But what, it, why it's not so important is because I've got two full stacks backing him up, so this army can afford to. This army can afford to sit back and replenish for a turn, so that's not a massive deal. Whereas these guys marching here and then... Actually, who you got here? Lots of bowmen. Smash straight into the bowmen here and hope to drive them into this um, stretch of land here. So let's attack again. It's a lot of, a lot of mobs, a lot of uh, bowmen. So we're going to take it a bit steady and try and be a bit more methodical this time round. Rather than our... <laughs> um, well, my last approach. Don't know why I say our, as if you guys are complicit in my tactics. But yeah, it's nice to uh, to regain a bit more of a forward-looking, more offensive action. And I might actually put my guns up here, find round shot range to attack their artillery positions. My howitzers are going to deploy behind the line. My infantry is going to be decidedly non-offensive. Let them come at us. And my dragoons fire it will off. Plenty of heavy cavalry here. I'll get my general involved. So let's get one howitzer to work on one 12 pounder, another howitzer to work on the other 12 pounder. Cause some upset there. But yeah, let's just let them let them do what they want to do. We've taken out two guns on this battery. This battery is ready to fire, but is not. In which case, excellent. So I might actually set my howitzers to attack units on the flank. Let's actually position our men on the flanks to be in a better position to respond to a likely enemy collapse. We can now, now they're in range. There we go, begin to Use advanced artillery fire. So I might have to commit my horse guards on this flank a bit sooner than I would have liked. Their, their general's bodyguard is run for it. Get ready to throw the cavalry in on this flank. The unit's fallen back on the cent in the centre. That unit there's fallen back. You you charge the levy because they're counter charging you anyway. You may as well get some damage points for it. You may advance, fire it will on. Cuirassier advance on a separate bearing. So the 38th Regiment of Dragoons fire a volley into the bowmen. There we go, let's pivot this flank. You guys charge down that unit of bowmen. You guys get over here and charge that unit of bowmen. You guys can pivot your flank. Again, retarget my quick gliming howitzers and be your artillery to some of these enemy units. Huge, huge collapse in the center. The Zemindari horsemen might cause them to hang around a bit longer than they normally would. 
charge you men into that block of troops. Let's make this this unit on the edge. Fire by will. Um, hold fire. You're charming. You're hitting the levy. So you're doing a real number on that unit of bowmen. Just try to kill them. Do your best to cause them to cease to exist. Where's my general's bodyguard? Chase that levy unit down. You men, fire it will back on again because you'll hit the right units. Excellent quick climb shots in the center here. Field artillery, round shot. Engage the general. You guys pivot to face that new unit of bowmen or that recovered unit of bowmen. doing some valuable quick climb business in the center whoa okay you guys oh I, I helped them out a bit obviously they're probably shooting at my cuirassier here you guys charge the 12 pounders you guys run past the defensive line you guys continue to pursue There we go, that's one gun crew destroyed. You guys chase on those 12 pounders. You guys charge down that unit of bowmen. Now you guys are through the defenses. Now you can begin your noble work. There is a couple of units of defenses up here to watch out for. Some good quick climb hits. But let's switch to round shot and get them to also attack the general's bodyguard because that's one unit I'm not going to charge down. Enemy general's been killed. You men kill those bowmen. There's one unit over there. Fire it will on. Fire your carbines if you have to. And fire it will off. Kill him with your sword. Okay, they got him. You're doing great. You guys advance, ready to hit down the hawk to charge down the horsemen. You're doing good stuff. You're going to try and do good stuff. All my artillery is going to cease fire. This cavalry can try chase down that unit of troops there. The unit of horsemen is incredibly upset. But not as upset as a lot of these guys are going to be. But if I can make these guys rout, I won't actually I won't chase them down. I want to try and knock out and thin out these uh, bowman units. That's realistically what I want to do. I'm just gonna be careful here because my general might. Well, it's just a cuirassier unit actually. It's not my general. But I've got to keep bouncing around to make sure my units don't accidentally run into. Anti-cavalry defences. You especially. We lost one. But everyone else is going to have a grand old time. Okay, you guys can come back and try help them out, but you will likely not get there in time. Still, let's just speed up time now, because it's simply a case of do what you can. Because these bow units are freaking huge. Yeah, you guys can have a have the day off. Cause I'm not going to run them over there. That's asking. Well, I can run these guys over, but trying to get my other cavalry units across is was just asking for them to get impaled on um, anti-cavalry defenses. So these guys are spread out, and they're going to rout. Oh no, wait. Where are, I, don't, I don't quite know where most of these guys are then. They should be getting thinned out quite significantly because of my cavalry presence. To be honest, this guy, this absolute hero is going to cause them to escape. Ah, nuts. But still, 
that's quite a good victory and like I said hopefully it pushes them the correct direction which it has good so you can repair the fur exchange Mr. Cardano your force can rebuild here on here so they're going to take some time to uh, like us you've approached the border of the Black Hills peoples although I might even send no it would be beneficial for you guys to knock out the Black Hills or the Plains Nations peoples based at the Black Hills it'll take them a few turns to get there but hopefully well when we've secured you're on territory here I would like to advance you guys into Michigan let's bring you guys up as well to provide some enhanced support so you've done some good pushes there I think the time will soon be ripe I mean it is it's pretty ripe to push on Falmouth but I would like them to engage me in defensive battle just once whether or not they'll let us do that, I'm not sure. We've solved most of our other affairs. Obviously, got lots of stuff that just needs to tick on a bit. And you're holding the passage at the Straits of Gibraltar. Let's get you guys into Ricardo Lazari's force. You guys, you go join Ricardo Lazari because it looks like he's the one that's closest to being completed. You're recruiting three units of howitzers. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do too much messing around because obviously, accidentally recruit another general. Basilia Australia did not need another general. Nikolai Chamayev. So this is a new fleet being recruited here. So let's take this heavy first rate and give them an admiral, Stefano Ferrari. So Nikolai. I think that's what we've got all these um, docks recruiting. We've got other ships. We've got other shipyards recruiting bith rates. That ship can actually be re repaired. I'm going to get raw recruiting forth. So I might just send forth over. Go down to South America. Because I don't think we can really recruit proper. Yeah, recruit all the privateers we can get. Yeah, I'm recruiting some first rates. I mean, we could recruit. With some other campaigns, I've, I've been recruiting fifth rates. It's kind of a good balance. So, probably a good idea to start doing some of that as well. Especially from these big military ports, because you can recruit them in some good numbers. Still got a handful of privateers to be recruited. So, let's build some more fifths. Obviously, things in India are likely to dial up another notch, because we're going to see another um, offensive. For one. You're good there. Both these forces have been damaged. I might actually... It's your... Okay, it's probably best to send up to do... to be a bit more reinforcing like that. So Ceylon said you're quietly recruiting another army. It'll take a couple of turns. You guys have all landed. I don't think there's anything else extra to do this turn except hit end turn and watch everything tick onwards that we've not moved or that we've not manually done this episode because we don't really need to do it manually. Yeah, our frontier um, armies have been doing a fantastic job at securing territory on the Indian border so our full weight has never been massed against the the Mughal Empire on their own home territory. Well, obviously, we are expanding our firepower uh, massively. Again, with the grand idea of using it to uh, bring war to the Mughal Empire's home homeland. I suspect Ceylon may cease to become a army recruitment center and may just explicitly focus on infantry. And as forward units are depleted, they will be reinforced by um, brand new recruited company infantry. I think that's probably going to be what happens. They've got some limited incursions across the river. But they will soon be repulsed as well. They'll, they will soon see that 
they think, or they can attempt to try and outfox us. And they're going to witness that their attempts to hold on to the North American colonies might actually be doomed to failure. Because we've bottled up their... Oh, I was going to say we've bottled up their fleets. We've not bottled up one of their fleets. Um, I'm going to auto that. Chomp. Yeah, we didn't lose that many men and they lost quite a lot. That was actually quite a good auto resolve for us for once. Yeah, we're going to try and outflank us, but that's not going to work. They've given up the crossing to the north, which is good. Yeah, reinforcements abound. They've got lots of troops to move about. I mean, I'd like to start seeing some... I mean, that's frustrating that they managed to to move. I don't want to intercept you yet. We have a fully... We have a, full, a fully replenished... Ooh, are you going to push to attack my river on... You're going to attack my force on the... It's holding the river from, river from both directions, I see. Very well. Actually, where do we do that? I think we don't. Let's retreat. Especially as they now have just gone and taken position on the river again. We've got the uh, capability to to push them up. I, you know, I don't... There's no. There's not much sense in weakening our front line that's currently you know our one isolated forward army i mean we're probably gonna have to intercept this guy because otherwise he will just go around us so baldazare is going to intercept this force and then likely fall back to the the bridge it was potentially a bit foolish to advance as far up as we did with this force that was probably a bad idea so we're going to take more casualties here than we would need to, um, but at least we will be able to uh, destroy a force in the field before they've got a chance to, to uh, destroy our buildings, especially as our dockyard is currently recruiting lots of ships. So that would be quite a disruptive thing for them to do if they elected to intercept that production. So let's deploy our guns every two units because we've got an odd number of guns. So let's spread out the firepower in the line. Last set of guns. Deploy. Then three units of three units of infantry on the flanks. And that means that We've got a, a reasonable amount of, of firepower at our disposal, including our howitzers. Firing good old quicklime. And we've got... Okay, let's put, a, let's put a heavy cavalry on each flank. But keep our regiment of horse somewhere more central to respond against any threats to our artillery. everyone attack like these units here all my artillery units try and fire shrapnel shot but i've probably been too late there because that is a lovely shot and this gun and granted it was the only target for most of them Where's their counter battery coming in? Is it against my regiment of horse? It looks like it. More shrapnel shot coming in. Misses. So they are skirmish cavalry, so they are gonna hit our line. Canister shot the horseman to the rear. Yeah, they're skirmishing us. Although you are gonna hit our line, which is a bummer. So as soon as our cavalry abandon their guns, which my crosshairs will become a, a green circle when they do. I don't quite know what your game is. There we go. So 
so. Then our howitzers just begin knocking out their quick light, their um, advancing infantry. You guys hit the levee, they're advancing there. We've got obviously a heavy cavalry on the flanks. Hindu warriors are a bit of a concern. Unit, yeah. They might actually quick climb the Hindu warriors with one of my howitzers. I mean, that unit of levee that's in the centre is. I mean, it's going to draw some of our fire, but what's going to happen is that they're just going to be slaughtered. So they're going wide with all their Hindu warriors. Let's get my regiment of horse over here. Potentially draw these guys back back so that'll give them a bit of time to reload musketeers 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 levy hindu warriors hindu warriors so you guys should be opening up on them there we go it's knocked out 50 of them that's pretty good going You guys engage the Tufangi. It always feels like at close range, quick uh, canister shot's the way to go. Once they're within a certain range. But the hope is that these guys, by falling back, they'll reload with enough time to get some volleys in. Okay. I don't think this unit's going to succeed. Horse guard attack the Hindu warriors there. Get the cavalry out wide. So we know they, that their Hindu warriors are good against my cavalry. But the hope is that the charge to the rear and the hit into the line will be enough. So you guys need to mass on this Hindu warrior unit and knock them out quickly. Then advance up to help your trapped cuirassier unit. attack some of these other units here. So one... Ah, where'd they go? I've managed to turn around completely. So you guys charge into the back of the Hindu warriors there. How are these guys doing? They're upset. So get the horse guards out of here. Get the heavy... Get the field of... Ho field... Uh, get the reg regiment of horse out of here. Pick up the two line infantry units and have them form up to then hit the flanks get the canister firing artillery pieces to focus on other units so you guys have charged the rear of the hindu warriors which will hopefully break good they are broken so you guys can carry on doing what you're doing regiment of horse chase down the hindu warriors my artillery over here come back here and knock out the 12 pounders the left flank is going to be secure. Get my heavy cavalry out of the way on the right flank. There we go. Pivot the right flank. Some good quick climb hits. Artillery shrapnel shot the camel mercenaries because they're going to do some damage to my regiment of force. Shouldn't really be using heavy cavalry to snipe artillery units. You guys charge down some Hindu warriors. Same with you guys. Hindu warriors are pretty, pretty scary. Well, I'm scared by them. From that engagement. Keep my cavalry mobile because they're going to get a volley into the back of my heavy cavalry. Yeah, 
Not fast enough, buddy -o. So I was somewhat hoping that my... Okay, my artillery hit the Desert Camel Mercenaries, who are now charging my heavy cavalry. Quick Climb has got some of my heavy cavalry. Switch to all my artillery to round shot, engage the Kizzle Bashi. All my artillery switch to round shot and engage the General's Bodyguard. Speed up time a little bit. My regiment of horse here knocking out some of these Hindu warriors. Keep my general away from their general. Now pivot in. Let's get my general to chase down their general. It means I can cease fire. when a unit is routing they have zero not stamina that's the wrong word hit points they die immediately and because my cavalry is a lot faster than their general is there we go See if a cavalry charge is enough to upset these these infantry. It is. All right, fire it will off. Let's get all of our cavalry back. Get two units to work on each musket unit. I know there's a levy unit back there, but I'm not so bothered about the levy unit. Not when there's infantry to kill. And especially when I've got so much cavalry on the field, I might actually be able to kill them all. I am able to kill them all. So you men knock out these last remaining musketeers. I could definitely dispatch a cavalry unit to attack them now, but... Eh. Don't really mind. 238 levy. We should do a fair bit of damage before they get away. I mean, when they're routing, when they're routing in a chain like this, it is a bit slower. Because you do kind of have like a bit of a follow the leader problem here about who you actually kill. But it did a good amount of damage. But even so, that's not an ideal position for an army like that against potentially multiple Mughal hordes. Let's see, yeah, they're pushing up towards Kabul. You got. Yeah, there are forces advancing, attempting to slow us down. So we are going to be engaging as we advance. And you can see it's how critical it was to have this, these numbers of, uh, of armies ready. Because they've already started a minor counter-offensive against us. That's, not, that's to say nothing of um, Bengal either. They've not actually done anything to the south. There's a lot of stuff that can be done. It's like this army could advance out and hit. I mean... You men are going to take this crossing, not advance up. How do you factor in? Well, you can do some blocking. You can't kill that unit, but you can get in close. You guys advance up. Like so, another unit advance up to the Great Fortress. This unit advance south. You... You... make a gut shot run to here. So obviously I'm setting up these guys for future fights. Um, let's do some upgrades. So the Huron... Hopefully, you guys will like your new government building. Minus 14 becomes minus 10 when taxed, becomes minus 4 with these militia. So next turn, you should be okay. So, 
so let's check out this so let's do drop some ships onto trade zones yeah you got pounded so you can come back for repairs so you guys are a bunch of captured ships i'd wager so you make port in Ajadir. So, new men replenish. The privateers make their way over to the East Indies. So, in terms of ships, you guys are. Oh, come on. Okay, so it's three privateers. Okay, you two can join up with this force. You guys cluster up with them. There we go. See, the Ivory Coast is, is, is has potential. Madagascar has potential. So let's take this fleet under Nino D'Agostino. He can sail to West Africa. That makes way for Geramo Pico to make port for repairs. Lisbon, your army is nearly done. You require three more units of infantry. I think we've pretty much done all the other fleet stuff. Yeah, we did them by accident. So let's continue with a bit of economy investing. So you guys might cross fall back to here, maybe. That's probably might be a better way to not prejudice our naval shipbuilding. So, Giordano Greco, you men get up here, because the one of the ports we missed. Si, senor. Well, I might dispatch two of your second rates up to Colachi. So that fleet they dispatched is the only one that can do that will be able to do such a thing. Got a whole bunch of recruitment, which we're not going to be able to possibly manage. You have your orders. So we landed here and they haven't stopped us. There is a number of enemy positions north. So let's combine three armies together here to push against Pondicherry to fight Arkart and probably draw in those forces there. And we also have two armies that can advance into the central zone of the territory ready to withstand a potential Mysore attack. Elsewhere, um, Dorostante Barbas, you can take position out front while Giorgio takes position in the territory, recovering. So the garrison needs a bit of replenishment, but in, in other, other elsewhere can actually advance. Fabrizio can also advance. New men hold here. Actually, no, don't hold here. You guys. Go up to Nicola Andrizzi. There we go. He's His force is bolstered. So you're still in a bit of a holding pattern in northern Italy. See, down south we've got potential for an offensive. So we do want to knock out that guy who's running the right direction. So you that were originally going to... I'm not quite sure why you were going all the way up there. You can get down to the south, ready to intercept Ali Khan. You can build this into a church school. Ali Khan can get some... Well, this force to the south can get some reinforcements. Can Zahedin... Can Enrico Castro leave Zahedin? Minus three becomes zero. He can advance. Pietro. Actually, you can garrison the city. Let's take this army. Embark them aboard ship, aboard the sixth rate, and land them. To be honest, we can probably land them at Calicut and run them up towards this tea plantation. Or 
Or do we do something risky and go for Mysore and take the city? If I can get you guys up to here, and you guys up to here, do I take Stefano D'Amico and go for a city attack and try a quick siege strategy, knock out the Kizilbashi because they have no mortars so we can do a lot of damage and take Mysore. That will knock them out of the, knock the faction out of the, the game and all of these armies that are currently in the field that they're financing are going to be down for the count and that's a huge blow to Mughal strength because then we can take these forces here and attack like if you I'm not going to make them attack but I want if, if we attack Pondicherry and destroy the force here we can without doing too much damage to our other guys we can advance them up to have a better well, I might actually do that advance one of them up to have a better position against the cities in future keep you guys close you guys could potentially be advanced as well. Well, this force here, Esfahan. Well, I mean, Romano Balbi, you have to be there, don't you? Because the, resi the, the uh, resistance to foreign occupation is huge. And there's not a lot we can really do about that, apart from build a massive general, a massive um, uh, garrison force. But Baldessari Bayano, loyal sowar, plus two command when fighting in India. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, our agent got found at Ahmedabad, but this guy. That's pretty cool. He's slowly expanding in knowledge, but I think this is going to be the strategy. Because with this, in potentially one fell swoop, we can destroy all of these troops. But looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode, because this is going to, might be potentially quite a chunky battle, so... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the assault on Mysore and hopefully the destruction of the Mysore faction. Cheers everyone.